Hey fragrance rockers, hope you're having a great day. Last week I showed you my 2022 Summer Designer Top 10 Fragrances, so stick around for my Top 10 Niche Summer Fragrances. Here we go. Welcome to my channel, Kristen Rocks Frags. My name is Kristen and it's time to talk fragrances. If this is your first time checking out my channel, please be sure to like and share this video and don't forget to subscribe. So like I said, last week I showed you my top 10 designers, so I'm very excited to show you my top 10 niche fragrances for the summer. So without further ado, let's jump into it. For number 10, I went with an MDCI Parfums fragrance. I went with Amber Top Cappy. And this is a very classic kind of aromatic fougere, but with a modern twist. Of course, you have your lavender in here. You get a little bit of pineapple too, so it's a little bit kind of fruity, but no, it smells nothing like the king, so don't worry about that. Um, you get some florals in the heart, you get some violet going on. I, I definitely noticed that. It gets a nice leathery dry down with the musky, amber combination. There's a lot of notes in here, but those are definitely the, the, the key players in here. You get some nutmeg. I almost get a little bit of a cumin vibe going on here, even though that's not listed. There is something in there that there's like a nice spice going on in here. Get some caraway too. It's really yummy. Very classy. Nothing really too complicated or offensive. Just very classy. It smells very sophisticated. I think this would be perfect in an office setting because this isn't one that really projects very big or it doesn't really last too long either but it's just so pleasant during that time with the wear. It's definitely it's definitely worth wearing for me. I really enjoy it and uh, you know if, if you like scents like uh, Bouda Chanel by Chanel it's almost a little bit in that kind of world a little bit. And uh, yeah, this is definitely worth trying. If you're looking for something just very classy, sophisticated, great for an office professional kind of setting, I think this is a great option to check out. So for number 10, Amber Top Cappy by MDCI. For number nine, I went with Sejo di Tormina by Aqua de Parma. And this is one of my favorites. I think this has been on my summer list a couple times. This is just one I always go back to. I really love wearing this on super hot days. Recently I took this um, to Naples, Florida on our trip and it just performed beautifully down there. So it's very nice. It opens with, with beautiful citruses, a nice herbal and citrus opening. And then it gets more aromatic as it dries down with the lavender. You get some pepper here. I love pepper. And then as it dries down, it gets more woody and a little bit earthy with vetiver. And uh, this is just a really beautiful scent. I just love this. And uh, I overall, I just love the blue line from Aqua de Parma. They're just amazing. Um, but this is one I, I go back to a lot. Um, there's just something, the way this wears on a hot and humid summer day, it's just gorgeous. And uh, this is just beautiful, perfect for the trip down there, walking along the beach wearing this, going out to dinner, that kind of thing. I like how this still has kind of a fun, playful, casual feel to it, but at the same time, there is some sophistication going on there too. Just really beautiful. Check it out if you haven't. That's my number nine, Sedra di Tormina by Aqua de Parma. For number eight, I went with a bit more of a unique scent here. I went with Squid by Zoologist. Check out that juice. It, it's just so cool. That color is just awesome. And it really depicts the, the vibe of the scent here. Oh, I love this one. This is really, really good. Man, part of me feels like I should have put it at I don't know, a higher place in the list. I don't know. It's just so good. But I have a lot of good ones. It was so hard to pick. But uh, this is definitely one of my favorites. I love this. So unique. So I blind bought this one and I was a little scared with that ink note. So this has an ink note in the heart. 
it's aquatic. You have sea salt in here, and you have incense and pepper, and then it dry down, you get some ambergris, benzoin, and it's very interesting. It's surprisingly wearable, very wearable. I thought this was gonna be kind of, you know, odd, maybe a little off-putting, not at all. I think this is one that it can work all year round, believe it or not. It's just, it's, oh, it's kind of spicy. There's a sweetness in here, but not too much. I don't know if that's maybe the benzoin in there. The Papanax too kind of gives it a little bit of, um, I don't know, it's like, I don't know, a tiny bit, re I'd say resinous. Um, of course you get that ink note in here. Uh, but lots of spices, which I like. And that ambergris gives it a little bit more of that salty kind of, I don't know, like a sweaty skin feel. Like I love what ambergris does to a set. It's just so yummy and addicting. Um, it's just oh, so good. And this is just really unique. It, it almost comes off a little bit gourmand with an aquatic kind of, combination. It, this one's a very hard one to describe. It's just really beautiful. You definitely have to try this one if you haven't. Um, again, like I said, that ink note kind of scared me at first, but when I tried it on skin, I was like, wow, this is just really, really good. And um, I think it can work even in a professional setting, but this is also, there's something kind of fun about it. Um, believe it or not, I think this will shine in the cool way too because this is one that performs beautifully. Just a, you only need maybe two, three sprays tops and this stuff will last you all day. It really has a nice push, a nice density and a satisfying feel to it. It's just a really pleasant wear and I love it. Definitely one of the more wearable scents from Zoologist while still having a unique twist to it. It's really, really good. This is a must try if you haven't. So that's my number eight, Squid by Zoologist. For number seven, I went with a very beautiful vetiver scent. I love vetiver on uh, nice summer days. It just makes you feel really clean and refined. And I'm talking about vetiver overdrive by uh, the orchestra parfums and this is very nice very easy to wear um, not really complicated it's kind of a simple note breakdown but just the quality of the notes is beautiful of course you get your vetiver in here it's a little bit woody it has a nice zesty bergamot so a little bit citrusy there's like a slight minty feel in here coming from the geranium and then as it dries down, it gets a little bit more musky too. You do get Embroxin here, but it doesn't overtake the scent like some of those Embroxin scents do. So it's still, you know, very high quality, very nice, um, just really classy. I really enjoy this one. Um, I started exploring this house this year and I'm really enjoying them so far. Um, I definitely have to add more to this list for sure, or, you know, more from their collection. Um, and if you just, you know, if you enjoy a nice, you know, clean vetiver with like a slight, like dirty feel, almost like Terre de Hermes, if you think, if you like things like that, where it's kind of a dirty citrus, I think you will really like this. Just really, really nice, not dark or, you know, um, you know, not overly grassy or anything like that. Just like a really nice balanced, grounded vetiver and with those fun, bright, happy notes of the bergamot and geranium. Just really, really nice. This one performs all day too. Beautiful performance on this. So this is definitely was one I enjoyed this summer. So number seven, uh, Vetiver Overdrive by El Ocristre Parfums. For number six, I went with um, a new discovery that I'm really enjoying by Ella Sire uh, Perfumes. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. This one's a little bit of a tough one to pronounce, but I believe it's O Papagena, O, o Papagena, Gena. <laughs> I gotta work on my pronunciations. Um, so this is a gorgeous citrusy kind of floral um, green scent. 
wow, I really enjoy this one a lot. Um, my friend Max Forty got me hooked on this scent. And just look at that bottle. I love the cap. It just kind of looks like some kind of collector with that crystal cap. Really pretty. Um, and I really enjoy this set. It's just so uplifting and bright. And just such a juicy bergamot you get here with some very nice crisp green notes. So it's some florals in here. You get orange blossom. Um, as it dries down, it gets a little bit earthy with some vetiver and cypress. And it's just, what a beautiful scent. It's kind of herbal. You get a little bit of mint in here too. And this is just such a fun, happy scent. Perfect on a hot and humid day. And uh, the performance on this is pretty good. Um, I'd say it projects really well for the first hour or so. Um, but the longevity, this might be one that you, you might have to reapply later in the day, especially if it's really hot and humid, but it's totally worth it. It's just such a gorgeous scent. If you like scents like Mediterraneo by Carthusa, those very bright, zingy, happy scents, you'll really enjoy this. This is definitely one of my favorite discoveries from this year. So that is my six, number six, O Papagena by Elisara. Okay, we are halfway through the list. I hope you're enjoying my pick so far. So for number five, I went with a Fragrance de Bois scent. I'm really getting hooked on this house. I'm pretty new to it, but I'm really trying to build up my collection. Um, so I found some beautiful summer scents from them, and this is one of my favorite discoveries from them. I'm talking about Oudvert Intense. And this is just such a comforting, luxurious, relaxing scent. Um, you get some beautiful bergamot at the top, you get some spices, it gets, there's like a slight mintiness going on with the geranium, and as it dries down it gets a little bit more earthy and woody, and you got some vetiver in here, some woods. Um, you get, there is oud in the dry down, but it's so smooth. There's nothing animalic in here, nothing really weird or off-putting. It just more gives the scent some depth and it, and it gives it, um, it really grounds it and it's just really beautiful. There's something about it that almost comes off tea-like to me even though that there is no tea note listed. If you like scents like Wulan Cha by Nisha Ne, definitely give this a try. This, this kind of reminds me of something in that world but it's just, the, the scent is just so blend, it's blended so smoothly that it's one that it's just, it's hard to pick out the notes. It's just so smooth and beautiful and comforting. And I love the way this one wears. It wears kind of like in a gentle way, but you get just like a nice sillage as you move and it does get you compliments. I remember one of the first times I wore this out when we got together with some friends, my, uh, my friend loved it. She's like, you always smell so good, but she's like, I really like that one. So, so uh, yeah, it never hurts to get a compliment, right? So, um, yeah, what, what a beautiful scent. Just really classy. I'm really enjoying this house so far. So I'm sure you will be seeing more uh, reviews on this, on this beautiful house. So definitely check it out if you have it. Number five, Uber Intense by Fragrance Dubois. All right, number four. The scent, most of you will know, but it's just an amazing scent and it's, oh my gosh, it's been out for 22 years. I can't believe that, <laughs> it's crazy. I think you might know what I'm talking about. It is often referred to as the king and it really is. And that of course is Aventus by Creed. So the scent came out in 2010 and this one has been a legend in the fragrance world. I'm sure most of you know it, but if any of you guys don't know it, you're probably new to the, to the fragrance world, so definitely get your nose on it. I think you will enjoy it like most people do. And this is my, um, my signature scent for my shows, actually. So um, this one, this, this will always be a very special scent to me. It brings back a lot of memories. I've been wearing this one for quite a few years now, and I get compliments quite often at shows. 
So for all you batch people out there, this is the 16K11 and it's fantastic. So of course you get your pineapple and you get some fruits and citruses, you get nice bergamot here, you get a bit of birch and patchouli going on. And then as it dries down, it gets a little bit musky, a little bit green with the oak moss. But this particular batch is very fruity and zesty and bright. So this is kind of, it's often described as like a smoky pineapple scent. And um, this one in particular isn't really too smoky. I get more of a, like a very bright, zesty pineapple, very juicy and delicious with a very nice musky dry down. So this wears beautifully on a hot and humid day, especially when you're sweating up on stage. It really projects off your skin. It just, it's just gorgeous. And uh, made my day uh, uh, over the summer. I wore this and uh, at a, um, it was a gig in August and the people kept asking, it was cute. My parents came up to, to, uh, to watch us play and, uh, and someone kept asking, my mom, she's like, they're like, who smells so good? And it was cute. She's like, that would be my daughter. <laughs> it was cute. And uh, so they're like, oh, that's so good, you know? So it was cool. A couple shows I've gotten compliments. So this is, uh, this is a really special one. I don't wear it too often other than that. This is one I really save for shows. So um, I definitely look forward to wearing this more. I like, I like wearing the darker, kind of more you know, uh, smokier batches for the cold weather and then the bright, uh, juicy pineapple kind of batches for the summer. So this is definitely an excellent summer option if you're looking for batches. So number four, Aventus by Creed. So here we go, the top three. So I went with a really yummy mint scent. I love mint, as you guys know and it was very hard to pick. I, there are just so many good mint scents out there, but this I have to say, it's just so gorgeous. The way this is blended, it's just so smooth. You can just feel that quality right away. And I'm talking about Renaissance by Zherzhov. Uh, this is a pretty popular one for summer. It's been out for a while, and it, it really does not disappoint if you're a mint, mint fan. Oh, it's just gorgeous. You get some beautiful zesty citruses at the top. You get that beautiful mint in the heart, some florals. It gets kind of musky as it dries down. I love this. It, it kind of, people often say it kind of smells like a mojito. I don't drink, <laughs> but uh, if it tastes as good as this smells, that might be hard to resist one of those things. But I've never tried one, um, but I want to go up and smell one and compare. That'd be kind of fun to see how realistic that is. But, uh, oh, what a gorgeous scent. It's, it's, there's something kind of sweet in here. I'm not sure what that is. Maybe the Lily of the Valley kind of sweetens it with the mint. Um, it's just so smooth and gorgeous. Such a beautiful mint. It's just amazing. Um, so I love wearing this on a hot summer day. It's just so beautiful. It's just one of those scents that just makes you feel good. It's kind of fun, but luxurious at the same time. Sophisticated. Like this would be really nice scent to go out like on a nice uh, dinner with some friends or family. Just really beautiful. There's something kind of um, formal at the same time. Like I, I find this one very versatile. Um, just gorgeous. So if you're a big mint fan like I am, I think you definitely have to check this out. This is definitely a popular mint scent in the niche world. So. Definitely check it out if you haven't. My number three, Renaissance by Zherzhov. For number two, I went with a house that I'm really getting hooked on lately called Agatho, and the scent I chose is called Seleno. And I recently did a full review on it, so definitely check it out if you haven't. But I'm really hooked on this scent. Um, I've been wearing this quite a bit this summer, and there's just something really comforting, really addicting. It's just one that just keeps you coming back for more. And it's one that's not really complicated, I don't think, but there's just something very addicting. The way this is blended, it's just really, really pleasant. I really enjoy this. And it's, it's very woody. You get some spices in here, a little bit of a green kind of quality to it. 
but I definitely like pick up a lot on the pepper and there's like a slight aquatic feel. There's some seaweed, absolute in the dry down. Um, it gets very woody in the dry down too. You get some cedar in here, woods. Um, you know, at the top it's a little bit green, a little bit fruity. There is some like floral going on here, maybe from the orange blossom. Just a really pleasant scent. There's just something about it. Um, I was wearing this quite a bit this summer and one of the days I wore it at, re at a rehearsal and, and I got a big compliment on, it, compliment on it. So much so that my friend and his wife ended up wanting their own decant of this. So that was definitely a big compliment. So, uh, so they're enjoying this one also. So definitely check this out. And I just love their bottles. So beautiful, really heavy, very unique caps. Just really cool. I love this house. It's really fun scents. So definitely check out my full review. I won't go too long on this one. Um, so number two, Seleno by Agathe. Here we go. Are you guys ready for number one? Naturally, there has to be a Roja somewhere in this list. And of course, it has to be number one. I went with Oceania. And oh, what a gorgeous, this is such a fun and, and gorgeous scent. It's so, this is one, that this is a tough one to describe. This one has a lot of notes, like most roses do. Um, it's not aquatic like you would expect. So I ended up blind buying this one, and I just fell in love with this immediately. Um, it's very, oh, you get a lot of citruses at the top. It's very herbal. You get some aromatic notes in here. At the heart, you get some beautiful, um, florals going on here you get a very nice violet note and as it dries down it gets a little bit more woody and musky it really grounds the scent and I get a lot of juniper berry that really stands out to me because there's like a nice kind of like bitter oh, like a little bit of like a bitterness to it you know how ju juniper berry kind of makes you pucker it kind of adds like a sparkle and kind of like a prickliness to the scent if that makes sense and oh my gosh this is just so gorgeous uh, it gets very musky too, which is very nice, perfect in the high heat. Um, I, my husband and I took this on our trip as well to Naples, and it really was perfect down there. Like, right, it's like very, it's kind of, you know, luxurious down there, you know, kind of fancy, and I thought the scent, you know, was perfect for that, and uh, I loved wearing this to go out to dinner and walk around and, um, you know, you're sweating so much down there it's uh it kind of melts off of you pretty quick but for that first hour or two it's amazing uh so this is definitely one you know you gotta spray your clothes down there for sure <laughs> um but what oh such a gorgeous scent if you haven't tried this you must it's just so uplifting it's just one that puts a smile on your face and so beautiful. I love how it's, it definitely is unique too. Like I said, it's not just some aquatic, like I thought, you know, I thought it was gonna be more of an aquatic scent. And uh, it's definitely not, it's, it's just very luxurious. There's iris in here, so I think that kind of brings out that luxur luxurious, slightly creamy kind of feel to it. There's just, oh, just gorgeous. Like if they made a soap of this, I would jump on it, like beautiful. Um, so definitely try the scent if you have it. Plus their bottle is just so cool. I love that cap. It's just really, really fun. So yeah, that's my number one, Oceania by Roja. And uh, what do you think of my list? Do you like it, love it, or hate it? Definitely let me know what your favorite scents were, uh, favorite niche scents were for this summer. Not ready for it to end, but I'm so happy I got to wear such beautiful scents and got to do some fun stuff this year. So. Uh, Definitely check these out on our website, perfume.com. These are all available on there. And don't forget to use my coupon code, KRF12, to get 12% off your order. And uh, thank you so much for joining me, and I hope you have a wonderful day of smelling good.